Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about how to get your proxy one up and on the network in just a few steps. So the first thing to do is to obviously power on the proxy one. So plug in both power supplies and then press the power button on the front. The first boot up may take uh, quite a while, but subsequent reboots aren't that, aren't that slow. And then once you've got it powered up, uh, we're going to want to plug in the ethernet cables here in the back. Um, if you're only setting this up um, to, to use on the inside uh, as like a pre-configuration, you can use the inside port. There's a picture of that here on the back. Um, but if you're deploying it inline, as most people will, you have the inside that goes towards your user network and the outside that goes towards your internet. Okay, and then once those are plugged in, we're going to want to plug in the serial to do the initial configuration wizard. And there's a picture of that here, how uh, we plug in the serial port. And then you're going to want to come into a serial program such as HyperTerminal. Um, the settings are 9600, uh, 8, and 1, no flow control. It's pretty standard for uh, network equipment. And then once you get to that screen, you're going to want to do uh, enter three times. And it'll come up with the uh, configuration wizard. And I've already configured this box, so I'm just going to um, enter through everything. But the first question it's going to ask is how you deploy, uh, physically in path, or explicit proxy. We don't see much explicit, but if you're doing testing or, uh, or if that's the way you want to have it, uh, choose explicit. Otherwise, physically in path. And then the IP address of the, of the uh, box, pretty straightforward there. Subnet mask, default gateway, uh, the private DNS server. And then what do you want as the administrator username? We usually use admin and choose appropriate password. It'll tell you if it's easily guessed. I'm, I'm just using admin here for this demo, so it's telling me that. Okay, so then once you're done with all those uh, questions, it's going to give you a summary and then ask if you want to uh, save that information. And then from there, we can go into the web GUI using the address provided here. So you can copy and paste this and put it in your browser and do any additional configuration. But at this point, the box is configured. Um, all the default, um, smart defaults uh, are applied to the box and uh, you're protected. Um, any traffic that's going through is going to start going into the reporting interface. So really at this point, um, you are secured and protected and there's nothing further you need to do for that basic uh, protection. If you wanted to go ahead and uh, configure authentication or um, look at reports or configure the uh, proxy client remote software, then you can go into the interface and do those things. Or if you want to uh, uh, block further URLs to comply with your current internet policy, acceptable use policies, you can go ahead and do that. And we have other videos on the channel that will walk through those um, at uh, youtube.com slash proxy1.